Well, you know, looking at your career, you've had music, such lasting influence, and I was particularly touched by, uh, I guess it was just a week ago at the VMAs, you got to see your legacy at such a young age in real time. R&B star SZA approached you backstage and she told you how she waited as a young woman 10 hours for your autograph and said, I would wait a million years for you for the rest of my life. You have such a <laughs> huge inspiration for me. Oh my God. Like... I mean, there you are. This is, she waited 10 hours to get your autograph. And now she's a star too. You know, that moment for me, like I'm like a little bit emotional now. It was so mm. surreal because it was so genuine and I'm a fan of hers. And she actually posted the pictures of herself yeah. and me when she was at the signing for oh. the book. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I was so touched and stunned and, and, and I just felt the love. And you know, I'm about women empowerment yeah. and encouraging women. So for us to have that exchange and for it to be so organic and so genuine, I was like, I didn't want to stop hugging her. You know, wow. I was like, oh my gosh. I'm like, you're like my sister, you know? So know. it was such, such an amazing, amazing um, feeling, feeling, yeah. you know? It's and again, beautiful. it was just so natural and so organic. So I really appreciated it. And she's you, amazing. You talk about- hey, SZA. Yeah, I love SZA too. You talk about <laughs> being empowered. As I said, you're celebrating, what, 20 years in this industry, which can break the strongest. And in June, it was announced that you're going to be getting a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, which is phenomenal. I still can't believe it. I'm so, so excited. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you wear. We'll discuss that in a second. But <laughs> this is bigger than that. You get the masters to the album, Ashanti, that started it all. And I want to point out to our audience who's here and at home, Taylor Swift was in the news last year about getting her masters. R&B star Anita Baker has been very vocal about the battles to get hers. In March, the great Anita Baker said that she has outlived all of her contracts and by law, her masters were to be returned, but tweeted, unfortunately, they're gonna make me fight for it. You get your masters to this album. What does that mean? to own your music that you've written? You know, it is, again, it's so surreal. Um, I have an amazing legal team and I got my first record deal when I was 14 years old. Mm. So understanding and seeing how things have changed so much from then to now and conceptually understanding what you're signing is so imperative and so important mm. nowadays. Um, the fact that I'll be able to re-record my first album and put everything together. Wait, that's the big announcement. I was going to build up to that. <laughs> oh. Ashanti <laughs> is re-recording. <laughs> I love how you just dropped that. She's re-recording <laughs> the album now as an independent artist. Yesterday's price mm -hmm. is not today's it's price. Not today's <laughs> price. <laughs> Today's price is not Joe. today's price. Today's Your friend, price. Fat Joe, <laughs> coined that. Fat Joe had a huge birthday party in New York, celebrated with friends. I couldn't even tell you anything about the party except that Ashanti stole the show. <laughs> um, listen, I heard Fat Joe say you called him and you said, what should I wear to the party? And basically he said, do it, shut it down, kill it, <laughs> slay it, and you did. Who were you wearing? <laughs> who, who made the dress and how did it stay oh up? Oh my gosh. It's, who was it by Tim? It's Lou, Lou Boo. I, I, it's on my Instagram. Okay. I tagged them. It's on your But um, here's the funny part. That was not even the dress that we were supposed to wear. The dress that we were supposed to wear didn't come. So this was like the plan B and I was like, oh. all right, well, I'll just, I guess we'll just throw it on. <laughs> and we had no idea that it was going to do that. So was there, was there tape all. involved in keeping that dress up? Oh, absolutely. There was <laughs> double tape. There was a couple of stitches on this side, a couple of tacks on this side, just to make sure, you know, everything stayed where it was supposed to be. I, and it, it did. It stayed. And I mean, I can't tell you, every time I would look at it on Instagram, I kept, like, pulling in the shot. I'm like, what? This is amazing. It was, that was a, a miracle of nature. And it looked phenomenal. <laughs> The other Thank moment, you. Ashanti, everyone's talking about, I guess you ran into your ex, Nelly, and we all know that you're still friendly. It was at uh, the Versus. 
with Fat Joe and Ja Rule, both of your brothers. And mm -hmm. Nelly, can we show this slow-mo of Nelly? He was there. <laughs> and checker jacket. There he goes. He goes in and he, he made contact. What, what was, what happened there? Um, I really didn't expect it. I didn't know he was going to be there, honestly. Um, so when I saw him kind of coming across the stage, I was just like, oh, and it was so weird because we haven't seen or spoken to each other in over six years. Oh, so that I thought y'all first... were friendly from that hug. If my ex came at me like that, <laughs> wait a minute, we haven't seen each other in six years, bro. So six years have passed, you haven't yeah. talked, you haven't spoken, and no. he went in for a hug? Yeah, that was the first time in, in a like I said, in six years. So it was a weird feeling. And I always, like, when we talk to him, I always felt like, ooh, when I see him, it's, you know, I went through that. And then it was like, oh, I'm okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's been so long. I didn't know how to feel or what I was going to feel when I actually did see him. So that's what it was. Like, how did you feel? <laughs> is, the, is the anger gone? Do you feel like oh, yeah. it's gone? Yeah. The anger is, is, is long gone. You know, anger is long gone. How many of your friends called you after and said, did Natalie just walk over to you and hug you? Baby, <laughs> my phone is on fire. <laughs>